hello welcome back to second part of our bun file input output so in this section we will go to writing files using our bun so let's get started so first of all let's start with deleting a file so before we start let me create a new file called write.js and let me rename this index.js to read.js cool so i'll be writing my code in this write.js so the first will be deleting a file so for that what i need to have is let's say i need to have one path basically let's say sample.txt and it will contain please delete me cool right so here let me close the other file so here i can import unlink sync from nordfs module and so let me define the path so let me say const path equal to sample.txt and then i want to delete this file right so i can say unlink sync i can pass the path so if i run this call so let me say bun run write.js just take a note here this sample.txt file will be deleted so you see the file is deleted so there's another way i can delete this file so currently i've deleted using synchronously also i can use by using promises so let me create the file again so let me say sample.txt okay let me write delete me and let me go back to my code so now instead of from this unlink sync what i can say let me comment this and let me add another import so i can say import from node fs slash promises so i can import unlink okay so basically in the previous example i imported this unlink sync so this is synchronously and this one i'm importing this unlink from the promises model of our node fs right so now instead of unlink sync what i can say is so let me just comment this also and let me add another await and then i can use unlink and then i can pass the path so if i run this code also so you see the sample.txt file is now deleted cool so let's continue to the next one so the next one will be basically writing to the standard out so when we say standard out we basically mean to this console so let me comment all this so if you remember if we say console.log i'll say hello pratap and if i run this code so this is the standard out so console.log is one of the module which will write to the standard output so when is using this console okay and if you remember this also automatically appends a new line to the end of our text and for advanced use cases bun exposes our standard output as a bun file via bun standard output property so let me show you an example i can say await i can say bun dot write i want to write to my standard output i can say bun dot std out and let me add the same string again hello pratap okay so if i run this code so you see when we use the console.log it adds an extra new line to the end of the string right but in the case of our bun.write so it doesn't add a new line to the end of the string okay so if i add a slash n here which basically means as new line and if i run this code again so both of the console outputs are identical now okay i hope this makes sense so let me comment this and let's continue to the next one so the next one is write a blob to a file okay so let me write in top of the side let me copy the path okay i have this path and now i want to write something into this path so i can say await bun dot write i can define the path and let me add lorem ipsum okay so if i run this code so you basically see that this path is basically a blob right so what we mean by blob a blob is basically a file okay the file doesn't exist now so we'll be creating the file and adding this content to that file right so this file is basically a blob if i run this code so you see i have this sample.txt file and i have a lorem ipsum inside it so if you see when we want to write so the first argument is the path or the destination which is basically a bun file and the second argument is basically what data to write okay and also the bun file class extend blob so we can pass bun file directly to the bun.write function also so i can say await so i have this sample.txt and let me say like let me create another file sample to dot txt and here i want to copy let's say hello i am pratap so i want to copy the content of that file to this sample.txt right so let me comment this so also let me remove this i can say const data 
equal to I can say bun dot file and let me copy the sample to dot txt and say sample to dot txt. So basically what I want to do here is I want to copy the content of this file to this. Okay. So I can simply use now I can say await bun dot write and I can give the path. So this is the path where basically I want to write. So this is the argument which I want to pass. I want to copy the content of this file, right? I can say data. And now if I run this code and let's check sample.txt. So you see we have hello, I am Pratap. But please note that when we do it like this, the previous content of this file is now lost. So it overwrites. It doesn't append, but it overwrites, right? So you should know the difference between like overriding and appending. So when I do this, so it is basically overriding the previous content. Okay. So let me comment this again. And let's continue to the next one. So now let's write a file to the standard output. So basically, we know how to get a file. So we have this file, bun.files, sample to the txt, we have this data. And now we want to write this to the console output. So let me copy this and let me edit here. So let me uncomment it. And instead of passing this string, I can basically pass our data. So this is basically the content of that file. So if I run this code, so you see, we have the content of that file in our standard output. All right. So let's continue. Write a string to a file. So if you want to write a string to a file, you can basically do. So let me comment this and let me paste here. And I can say await bundle write. So I want to write in this path. So instead of data, so let me just write some string. Hello, I am Pratap. And if I run this code, and if you go to sample.txt and you can see hello i am pratap so this way we can write a string to a file also please note that it overwrites the existing content if i say hi i am previous and let me add a new content so instead of hello i'm pratap i'll say hi i am new let me save let me run and let me check sample.txt and you can see it overwrites the existing content so let's continue so let's write a file incrementally. Basically, instead of removing the existing content, so let's write a file incrementally. Okay. So this will be a bit confusing. So let me try to help you as easy I can say. So for that, what we have to do is so I want to write to this sample.txt file. And for this, we need to create a file.writer. Right. Let me create one file. So I can say const file is equal to bun.file. And let me pass the path now i need to create a writer okay so one provides an api for incrementally writing to a file and this is useful while writing a file over a long period of time okay so i can use dot writer for my file so let's say const writer equal to file dot writer okay so if i call this writer on a bun file so it gives me a file sync okay and the instance can be used to efficiently buffer data and periodically flush into the disk and we can write and flush many times right and if i want to write anything so let's say i have this writer so i can say writer dot write so let me write hello let me copy this let me paste multiple time and i'll say i am pratap using so let me paste one more time writer okay so this means that from this one file I can use this dot writer which will write or flush an item or a content to a file and using this write function I can add content to the file. This basically means that what content should I write to this writer or a file. Okay. So after this I can flush my writer. So I can say writer dot flush. So basically when I say writer dot flush it means that I am cleaning or clearing the content of that file. So let me save and run this. So you see we have our hello i am pratap using writer right so what if i don't use this flush what will happen so there's no much difference so let me add this and then after that, let's say i want to end this file so i have already write everything and i want to close this file so i can use writer dot end when i say end it basically will close the file so let me check my sample.txt you see so with this we can write to a file incrementally so let's say I have a list here. So I'll say let my list is equal to basically. So let me say hello. I. So let's say if we have something like this, so I can use my writer. So I can say 
my list dot forage and say data and i can use writer dot write i can pass the data and let me clear all this and let me save and let me run this code let me go to my sample txt so you can see so this is just an example so my list can be anything so this way we can write to a file incrementally okay so let's continue with the next one so we can also write a response to a file okay so writing a response to a file is pretty simple so let me comment this and let's go to our top and i can say const data is equal to so let me use our fetch method i can say fetch and let me fetch google.com okay and i want to write the output of this data to a file so i can say const path equal to sample.txt and i can say await one dot write and i can use the path and then i can pass the data so let me run this code oh, sorry i did a typo here it should be right let me run this code again and let me go to my sample.txt so you can see i've written the output of the google.com to my file okay so let's continue the next function is like copying a file to another location let's say i have this sample.txt in this location i want to copy this file to another location okay so this should be pretty simple so let me create a new folder here i'll say demo and let me comment all this and i want to copy this sample.txt file inside this demo folder okay so how can i do that we can use let's say const file so let's use one file and say one dot file and it is sample.txt and i can say await one dot write and i can use the path where i want to copy the sample.txt file right so i can say demo slash sample.txt and let me pass the file let me run this code let me check my demo and you can see we have the sample.txt inside this demo folder okay so with this we have used our bun file io how we can use our bun.write we have used bun.write multiple time it's just reusing this bun.write module so using this it's pretty simple to work with our file input output so in this section we have covered how we can delete a file how we can write to the standard output how we can write a blob to a file we also learn how to write a file to the standard output we also learn how to write a string to a file and also how to add a content to the file incrementally and also we learn how to write the response of http url to a file and also we learn how we can copy one file from one location to another location okay so using bun api is pretty amazing it's pretty easy so if you like this video please drop a like please drop a comment and also subscribe to my youtube channel and hope to see you with more bun videos in the upcoming section so see you there